Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Um, let's talk a bit about the restrictions of branches within your Bitbucket repository. You don't want to let anyone to actually be snooping around your branches, especially to make some of the changes to them, not to mention to delete these branches. And you want to restrict this to most trusted people within your repository. The question is how you do this. It's really simple. First of all, you need to go to your repository settings in here. And when you go to your repository settings, you're going to be within this uh, workflow section where it says branch restrictions. You, you want to click on that. And there is also now an option where it actually says add a branch restriction. You're going to click on that. Now, these are the options that are given to you. You can select the, by the branch name or the pattern itself. Or what you can also do is you can select this by the branch type. Within this drop down, you have some several options in here. So they're like, they're like options to go for um, the branches, which is the development and production, but they're also the main, uh, then you also have the branches such as release, hotfix, feature, and bug fix. Mostly by default, this is going to be created by the Bitbucket. So all of these release, hotfix, feature, and bug fix. And main, of course, where basically I was in the main branch uh, from the uh, beginning of this video. So what I want to say is, I want to go with the branch type where it's going to say release. So it's going to have release as a prefix and then from the re release slash, then it's going to have like release number one, release number two and so on and so forth. And of course, to actually pivot between the branches, you actually want to use the get checkout option, get checkout command. And here we go. The very first thing that it says, write access. Now, by default, it's saying everyone with access to the repository has the right access. Okay. So it's not saying delete access. It's saying the right access. And I also have the option to select only specific people can have this. And then here it's saying nobody has right access but basically this is not really gonna be that useful for your branch because if no one is able to write to that branch what is then the purpose of that branch but i can actually i can let's say limit myself in here and what I want to do is also you can allow rewriting branch history and allow deleting this branch. You want to be really careful, especially for this second checkbox where it says allow deleting this branch. You don't want to give this option to anyone, especially within the group of people and who they can say at any time. Yeah, let's just delete a branch. Let's go crazy and let's delete this branch. Let's break the whole production. That is not the goal here. The goal here is actually to foster the open, transparent communication between the team and, of course, getting shit done. That is the whole purpose of it. But then we also have to merge access via pull requests or saying everyone with access to the repository they can also have the access the merge accessing what actually this means is basically when you're having the pull request and when someone actually approves this pull request which is actually adding the change to the existing code that means that when the pull request is done that change needs to be merged to the already existing version of your code. And if everything is passing and everything is actually all right, the changes are actually being made within the code itself, which is actually a really, really good thing. But 
of course you can only you can also specify who can actually do the merging this is this is actually a really good um idea if you're having some uh senior and junior developers let's say you have a senior and you have like three junior developers and when the developers are actually making the changes to the branch they they are actually looking for you know to merge their code after the pull request actually has been done so it's a really good idea to limit this only to your senior de developer to actually do this and to say hey you can actually merge this and you can you can proceed with merging or this is saying that oh only i can merge this code and basically it's done but this the also depends on what is the workload on that senior developer as well because if they have a lot of work on them it's not really you know good idea for them to actually make the merge each time so yeah yeah the good thing is that there are actually other people that basically you can you can add i also have the option for the merge settings where it's actually saying hey, what are the minimum number of approvals that you actually need to have in order to, well, this to be merged? And it's being unchecked. So it's not it's not saying anything, but it would, would be a good idea. And I can say, yeah, I want one of, one of the users to actually merge this. And the people that in the previous branch permission tab i have specified who actually has the access to the merge merging options so that's actually pretty good no changes are requested check for the following conditions to be true okay minimum number of approvals from default reviewers is selected to be one so they're like uh, default viewers that is i can actually add the reviewers in here so I can add and I can say who is the reviewer of all of the code in here. And I can say, yeah, and this is where you actually want to add either your technical technical team leads, engineering managers, or whoever. It, re it really depends on the, um, on the number of people who, are, who have this level of expertise that they can actually do this. All right, so then you have for no unresolved pull request tasks, minimum number of successful builds, maximum number commit behind the destination branch, and so on and so forth. But in the nutshell, this is how you can actually, this is how you can check for branch restrictions and apply those branch restrictions. When everything is done, what you actually need to do is you just click on save and you're going to see that basically the overview of what is going on in here. So yeah, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video. Bye.